happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. A paradox that would set in motion events which would forever change the paradigms of war. Breakthroughs in military technology meant small arms could no longer contest the sustained output of modernized machine guns and heavy artillery. With either side suppressed by a static barrage of fire, a stalemate ensued, a new tact was needed. Was it possible to condense such firepower into the hands of just a single soldier? In 1914, Birmingham's small arms company did just that. The Lewis gun, or Lewis Automatic Machine Gun, is a British LMG designed by US Colonel Isaac Newton Lewis. Repeated rejections from the US Army pushed Colonel Lewis to take his design to Liège, Belgium. Here, he began work to produce prototypes of the weapon in early 1913. The design was promptly licensed to Birmingham Small Arms, as operations relocated to the United Kingdom over fears of an imminent invasion from German forces. The Lewis gun earned its place on the battlefield, and the US Army saw potential in its design, beginning their own productions under the moniker of Savage Arms. The weapon is chambered for two types of round, the British 303 rimmed cartridge and the American standard 30-06 Springfield round. Unlike the more versatile 30-06, the 303 is less prone to feed malfunctions. The protruding base provides a reliable means of ejecting shells, should the weapon be subjected to harsher conditions. In-game, you'll be issued with the Mark III Lewis gun. Unlocked at support rank 10, this revision forgoes the iconic barrel shroud in lieu of a lighter handguard and is chambered for 303 British. The weapon's damage is moderate, identical to the majority of light machine guns. In close quarters, you'll take down a target in just four shots anywhere to the body, or two if both are headshots. Damage is maintained well out to a distance and drops off to a seven-shot kill. With a respectable bullet velocity of 740 meters per second, you can expect consistent performance at mid to long range engagements. Stray too far, however, and you'll invoke the ire of more potent long-range weapons, returning fire with a ruthless precision. Recoil is manageable, albeit the third highest in the weapon category. A low vertical value of 0.6 and a high horizontal value of 0.25. While the vertical component's easy to account for, horizontal recoil is far more sporadic. Anticipating weapon kick will be troublesome and can potentially hinder your efficiency at longer ranges. This is mitigated somewhat by the weapon's low rate of fire, with the recoil being applied per shot at 540 rounds per minute. If you can maintain your effective range, this weapon's magazine will allow you to sustain fire with reckless abandon. Initial capacity is generous and the highest of any LMG. Starting with three 47-round magazines, you'll seldom experience running drive munitions mid-firefight. Reloads, albeit few and far between, are slow. Even your tactical reload is outpaced, with most weapons being able to cycle an empty magazine before you have chance to retaliate. Capacity can be upgraded with the extended mag specialization to 97 rounds but with tactical reloads being a last-ditch effort, and empty magazines taking a full four and a half seconds to replenish, you only need follow the golden rule. Take cover, or die. Time to kill is moderate, below average for the support class. To permit accurate fire, you're required to shoulder the weapon and aim down sights, inhibiting your ability to react in close quarters, but with poor hip fire, your options are limited. It's rather fortunate then 
that site spread is not a factor. With no penalty for sustained fire, you have an advantage over assault rifles and submachine guns outside their effective reach around the 30 to 50 meter mark. Our weapon tree is geared towards a siege roll, capitalizing on weak points in the enemy's defense and overwhelming them with a flurry of accurate fire. At rank one, we'll be taking quick aim. This will increase your ability to react in a firefight with a 33% reduction to aim down sight time, an essential trait for the weapon, as hip fire is not a reliable option. Ported barrel will see a 20% reduction in horizontal recoil, useful for maintaining accuracy where the unpredictable weapon kick will prove more troublesome. By default, barrel bedding is our next choice. A 75% reduction to aim down sight spread a far cry from the usefulness of extended magazine. But with the improved handling of our chosen traits, 47 rounds will prove sufficient for any engagement. Our final pick from rank 4, Recoil Buffer. A good addition to round off our accuracy-centric build, encouraging aggressive sustained fire, where using a bipod is unlikely and recoil will be at its highest. This loadout is a powerful tool for being the aggressor. Excelling in medium range engagements, its large magazine and adept weapon handling make it ideal for encroaching on an enemy's defensive line or locking down an area from opposing approach. You won't be the first on an objective and you'll suffer a disadvantage in close quarters. But if you bide your time and weave your way to an advantageous position, you'll make easy prey of unsuspecting enemies. A sound to be feared, the rattle of this weapon's fire. Its bite, more lethal than its venom, because this snake's fangs are full metal.